Hello everyone. Sorry for long disappear and thank you so much for over 10,000 subscriber. Yay! And as you can see from the screen, today I'm going to show you how I made this Rilakkuma bear, you know, one of the characters from San X, I think. And this pattern consists of only basic stitch, so beginners who have experienced uh, making a couple of doors should they should be able to make this without problems so let's get started so this doll will work from leg and crochet up to the body part and first we're gonna use yellow yellow yarn and make a circle six single crochet into the first chain and you can do the magic ring if you prefer as long as we finish the first round with six single crochet and it look like a circle so first change and second change then I'm gonna hook a hook to the first chain and make the first single crochet and we repeat it until we got six so two single crochet and three single crochet four single crochet five single crochet and six single crochet pull the yarn to tight the hole up and slip stitch at the first single crochet that we made slip stitch yep. and then we're done with round one so start with one change every every at the start of the round and then two single crochet in each stitch so I make two single crochet into each stitch and one single crochet two single crochet and one and two to the next stitch one and two and the last two and oh yeah before before holding the last so before we finish the last SC instead of hooking into the same yarn we hook to the new color which is brown yarn so we can change colors seamlessly and hook the new colors and slip stitch crochet normally slip stitch and one chain for the third round and for the third round we will work only on the back loop only you can see we have we have two string for each stitch right so instead of working on both we only working at the back of the stitch so one single crochet for each stitch for 12 times so only for to the back and single crochet two now we have two and single crochet three and single crochet at only on the back loop four and then five and six seven eight nine ten hmm? 
11 and 12 yep 12 single crochet on the back loop and slip stitch one change for start of the round four and when we flip it over we're gonna have we will have a flat foot because we work on the black loop only and cut off the old color the yellow one cut off the yellow yarn and we're gonna tie we're gonna tie the yarn and make a knot and make sure it's secure inside if you don't want uh, if you don't want to, to make a knot you can leave the yellow yarn like very very long but I start with and start with the brown yarn uh, start the brown yarn with a very long tail <laughs> you can do that and you don't have to make a knot okay we continue on round four from round four to round seven we just repeat one single crochet into each stitch for until we get to round seven so we do this for repeating this for next four round yep just normal single crochet and single crochet just keep repeating and I'll see you again after we finished round seven now we're at the end of round seven and then slip stitch to close the round and we finish for the lake for it for the Rilakkuma lake fasten off you cut the yarn and fasten off for the first leg and repeat the whole process to make second leg and for the second leg you don't have to fasten off we're gonna continue working on round eight from this. So continue from round eight. One change 
and one single crochet and then put the hook to like to make single crochet and you also insert the hook to the second piece of the leg uh, it's better to do it at the start of the round as I do here and we insert the hook to both piece of leg like this yep and this piece is quite annoying and we hook we hook the yarn through both pieces and make a single crochet and we do the single crochet again in the same stitch that we hook through yep for the second stitch and we do one stitch one single crochet into each stitch all around one single crochet and one single crochet and another one single crochet and one single crochet and one single crochet single crochet until we reach the last stitch of this leg which is which I think is this one yep and we hook hook it through another leg like we, we repeat the joining process again to make sure that the leg is secure joining yeah hook through and make a single crochet so for another single crochet, also do it from the same stitch in the other side of the leg. Yep, and one single crochet to each stitch until we until we reach the end of this round. Yep, single crochet and another one single crochet. We're gonna end this round with a total of 24 stitch stitches, right? I'm not sure how to pronounce it. <laughs> and single crochet. And and the last single crochet and slip stitch. Slip stitch at the first single crochet of the round. Slip stitch and one change. And the first stitch always, always, always on the stitch that you do the slip stitch. I forget to mention that. And as you can see, we're gonna do one stitch for each stitch one single crochet for each stitch from round from this round round nine and repeat it until we got to round 15 so one oops, one single crochet into each stitch and yeah but I'm gonna see you again after we finish round 15.
now we're finished round 16 and it should look something like this Next, we're going to work on round 16. So, we're going to start decreasing it from this round. And do four single crochet. Two, three, four, and then decrease. Two single crochet, two to get two together. And repeat it. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, and decrease. Or two single crochet together, whatever they call. So decrease it. And repeat this. One single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, four single crochet, and decrease. And one single crochet, two, three, four, and decrease so we repeat this for four times and then slip stitch to end the round slip stitch and one chain next we're gonna do one single crochet into each stitch for the total of 20 stitch so so one single crochet and repeating it until we meet the start of the round one single crochet one single crochet another one single crochet and one single crochet One single crochet for the last stitch and slip stitch one change and I think next round should be the last round for the bodies Round 18. So we do one single crochet, two single crochet, and three single crochet in each into in each stitch, and then we do decrease. So you do three single crochet and decrease, and repeat it until we finish the round so i think it's gonna be yeah in total four times and we already do one now next is one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and decrease this is the second one and one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and decrease decrease and the last chunk 
one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet and decrease Then slip stitch to end the round. And I think our body is finished. Yeah, it should look something like this or similar to this. And you leave some length of yarn for sewing letters and cut the yarn and fasten off. enough and I like to secure the end of the yarn inside so, so it make sewing become more neat and don't forget to stuff the fibers into the doors I like to stuff it quite tight So next part is the head, the head. And instead of working in the circle, we're gonna work on change and form a oval shape. So four chain for one change and two change, three chains, four chain. And single crochet into the second change from the hook. So this is the second change and single crochet and single crochet into the next stitch and another single crochet and we do single crochet oh you do we do three single crochet to the tip so the last chain of this we do three single crochet into the tip of the oval and then one single crochet and increase so two single crochet into the same stitch two single crochet yay and slip stitch to end the first round slip stitch so and one chain so we're gonna end up with a little oval shape. Second round, we start with increase. So two, oops, two single crochet into the same stitch. Two single crochet, yep. And then one single crochet into the next stitch. And increase for three increase to the next three stitch so this is one and two into the same stitch the second one and the second increase one single crochet and two single crochet to the same stitch and the third increase for one single crochet and two single crochet And we're gonna do a one single crochet into the next stitch and two increase so one single crochet two single crochet to the same stitch and the second increase for one and two yeah and slip stitch to Finish the round. One single crochet. And for the third round is mm, we're gonna do I think we should do single crochet and increase. Single crochet and increase two single crochet into the same stitch and another one single crochet and increase increase and yep 
continue for one single crochet and increase one two and single crochet one single crochet to the next stitch two and increase crochet single crochet three and increase and then one single crochet and increase and slip stitch to join the round one change single crochet into the next stitch and increase increase and increase to this one and we do one single crochet into the next five stitch so this one two three four five single crochet and then increase one single crochet and two single crochet into the same stitch then we do uh, one single crochet and two single crochet then increase Increase into the same stitch. Yep and five single crochet one two three Four and five single crochet and then increase one two single crochet into the same stitch and one two single crochet then increase hmm? I didn't increase oh yeah just two single crochet and slip stitch slips and it should look something like this and next is round five we're gonna do a single crochet three single crochet then increase so, we, so you make single crochet into neck three stitch one two three and then increase and one two three and increase and one two three then increase and we repeat it for the total of six time and increased one two three and increased Then one single crochet, two single crochet, three single crochet, and increase. And slip stitch. One single crochet. And we do the 
single crochet mm. yeah I think we can go up yeah I think we we are good with this so for round six yeah from round six to eight we're gonna do one single crochet in each stitch so each round have 30 stitch so you do 30 stitch for each round go up for for three round and two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29 and 30 you have 30 stitch per round and slip stitch one change and repeat it one single crochet for each stitch and I will see you again after we finish round 8 So now we are finished round 8 and we 
is yeah it fit perfectly with the body and yep so for the next round of round nine you're gonna do a little bit of increase so I think yeah four one four stitch one two three four oops and increase so four single crochet single crochet into the four stitch and into the next four and then we increase yep how many one two three and four and increase yep and one two three four and increase two single crochet into the same stitch and one two three four of single crochet and increase one and two into the same stitch and we will repeat this for four times and uh, no no for six time yeah and one two three four single crochet and increase one two into the same stitch and one two three four and increase one and two into the same stitch and slip stitch one change and next round is a so I think next round we should we should do I one single crochet for each stitch so in total of 36 stitch one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 22 33, 34, 35, and 36. Yeah, 36. And slip stitch. And one change. And next round, we're gonna do some decrease. So one, two, three, Four single crochet and then decrease one two together so one single crochet two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet then decrease so two and together and repeat it for six time 
one, two, three, four, and decrease. 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 And slip stitch one change and for the next round um, yeah, I think our head is it's okay and we should start decreasing and closing it so next round is one so one single crochet into each stitch for 30 yeah for 30 time 30 time one single crochet into each stitch One single crochet, one and one, and another one. So we're going to do it until we reach the end of this round. One single crochet. One single crochet. One single crochet. And because we do slip stitch and one change at the end and start of every stitch, sometimes I didn't count the round and just go for it because I can see the the starting point of the round because of it. And one last stitch and then slip stitch one change and we're gonna keep we're gonna do the de decreasing so next round is three single crochet one two three and decrease so two together one two three and decrease we're gonna repeat this for six time or until we reach the end of the round so three and decrease two together one two three and decrease one two three and decrease one two three and decrease And slip stitch to join the round. One change.
and next round we're gonna do two single crochet one single crochet and two single crochet then decrease so single crochet into the next two one two and decrease and repeating it for a sixth time or repeat it until we get to the end of this round as usual so one single crochet and two single crochet and decrease one single crochet two single crochet and decrease one single crochet two single crochet and decrease one single crochet two single crochet and decrease and I think we should stuff um, slip stitch slip stitch and one change okay and next round we're going to do one single crochet and then decrease one single crochet and decrease and we're repeating this for also six time so this is the second time and one single crochet and decrease two together One single crochet decrease then one single crochet and decrease one single crochet and decrease and it's raining outside and I'm not sure the voice is coming in or not and before we do the slip stitch stuff some fibers inside Let's stuff it squeezing it to spread the fibers equally and I'm not sure which way I should sewing it and let's finish this round by slip stitch Slip stitch, yeah. And the last round for the height, one change and decrease for six time. One decrease, and it's our focus again. Decrease and the third re decrease. A fourth decrease. And then five decrease. And 
golden last decrease. Then slip stitch. And if it need, you can stop. You have to stop the fibers right now before we close this. and fasten off do not do not leave any length of yarn because we're gonna use the leftover from bodies to sewing together and yep now we have the head part and body part and then sewing it together I know the the subtitle is not corresponding to the videos and this is after sewing it I lost some of the tracking videos so it's okay <laughs> since it's, it's just the sewing part and next part is an arm we use a brown yarn and start with a circle six single crochet into the first chain or magic ring if you prefer six so this is how i start my first chain and second chain one single crochet I'm gonna do six single crochet into this first chain so two single crochet three single crochet four single crochet five and six then slip stitch so for the for the arms if you like to work in spiral you can do that because we don't have any color change happening in here and the second round is one and increase two into the same stitch one single crochet and increase one single crochet and increase so we're repeating this for three times and finish the round with nine stitch and slip stitch and then one chain pull the yarn to close the hole and from now on I'm gonna do the one single crochet yeah one single crochet into each stitch so repeating it for until we get to the length that we want so repeating this until round eight and I will see you again after I finish round it.
one slip stitch to finish round eight. Yep, and our hand is finished. Slip some length of yarn and fasten off, and repeat the whole process again to get another hand, another arms. Yep, and then we sewing this to the body part. So I'm not I'm not stuff anything in this part. So we just sewing it into place. After we finish sewing both arms, so it, it should look something like this. And next part is the ears. So the outer ears start with brown yarn and as usual with circle of six single crochet any way that you're feeling comfortable with I do six single crochet into the first stitch so one and two single crochet three four five six and slip stitch to end the round one single crochet and pull the hole tight and next round is increase into each stitch so one single crochet two single crochet into the same stitch to every six stitch that we have so this is the second increase the third increase fourth increase five increase and slip stitch one change and next round is one single crochet into each stitch for three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven and twelve then slip stitch show the right side out and slip stitch one single crochet and yeah one single crochet into each stitch for another round and we will finish this first brown ear and one more stitch one other single crochet one single crochet and one single crochet one single crochet and slip stitch to join to close the round leave some length of yarn and fasten off and repeat the whole thing and make another ears 
Then we're gonna start with the inner ear with yellow yarn. Which is also start with six single crochet and make it into the circle. So one chain, two chain, and six single crochet into the first chain. And yes, you can do magic ring if you like. One, two, three. Four, five, and six. Slip stitch and pull it tight. One change. And I found that only one round is too small and two round is too big. So this one we're going to work on slip stitch only. So one slip stitch and next is two slip stitch into the same stitch so it's kind of like an increase with slip stitch and normal one slip stitch and then increase with slip stitch and we're repeating this for three times just three times. I know the the pattern right six times, but just only three times. And then the last slip stitch. And leave some length of yarn for sewing. Fasten off and sewing this piece to the brown pieces to the brown piece And we got both of the ear finishing and sewing both ear to the head and you know adjust you can adjust the the ear position to wherever you want and then use a pin a lot of pins to hold the ears into the place before you're actually sewing it so it's kind of help you make the doll look more com compatible not compatible <laughs> make sure that your ears is equal left and right and sewing it <clears throat> And this is what it looked like after finished sewing both ears. And next part is is it face or mouth? So we're gonna start with white yarn 
and work on the chain so one chain two chain three chain four chain and then one single crochet into the first chain from the hook and no not <laughs> not the first chain the second chain and then single crochet into the next stitch and three single crochet into the last of the of the tip of the chain on the tip yep and one single crochet and then increase actually it shares the same pattern as the head the first round of the head part is actually the same pattern and next round for second round we start with slip stitch again because I think it's too small for it mouth but second round is gonna be too big so we do the slip stitch again and I just try to make sure that the slip stitch is not too tight in anywhere or too loose so I slip stitch like kind of increase here and slip stitch again slip stitch and slip stitch yeah I think it's okay and slip stitch to close to round and leave some length of yarn and fasten off yeah I think this is the perfect size and cutting off we're gonna embroidery we use a thick a very thick black thread to embroidery the mouth of it and I'm making a nose right now so just putting a yarn in and out to make sure that it look like Rilakkuma mouth as much as I can yep and secure the thread at the back And then we saw we sewing this piece into the head part. Run and run the yarn inside and cut it off and next is the eyes you can use a plastic eyes or I don't have a plastic eye at the moment so I'm gonna crochet it it's four single crochet into the first stitch like make it into a small circle with four single crochet one two three and four I know black yarn is really hard to see in front in front of the camera and pull it tight and slip stitch to join the round and make the eyes 
look so cool. And we are done for the first eye. Leave some length of yarn and cutting it off and fasten off it and make two of them. Or you can make one and make another eyes and embroider another eyes into like it's like he blinking at you, something like that. And then we adjust the eye position and then sewing it. I still think that the eye this eye is a little bit too big and the plastic eye like one millimeter uh ten millimeters plastic eye that I usually use should be more cuter on this but I don't have it at the moment so I'm gonna use it anyway just sewing it and secure the yarn at the back and cut it off I know it doesn't look secure but believe me I I throw my do my dolls a lot of my dolls into a watching machine and no threads is coming out everything is attached together magically <laughs> and just sew it and hide the end the end of the yarn at the back of the eyes and sewing it closing it and if you not build if you're not feeling like oh it's not secure enough you can run your yarn like many many times like this eye that I do for example and then cut it off this will be very secure inside and next part is a belly a white belly also work on the change and we're gonna start with five change one two three four and five is it yeah I, sh I think we should have five change four is gonna be too short and one single crochet into the second chain from the hook and then one single crochet two single crochet and this one is the last one so we do three single crochet into the same stitch always three single crochet at the end of the chain and then we work back to the beginning with two single crochet and then increase at the last one and slip stitch one change and increase yep start this round with increase two single crochet into the same stitch and one single crochet two single crochet and then increase for three times one two into one and two into the same stitch and the next is gonna be the third increase one two into the same stitch and then one single crochet and two single crochet then increase for two times again and increase and slip stitch to end the round and one change and I think we need another round yeah we need another round for this one it's gonna be a little bit too small and one single crochet and then increase 
and two one two single crochet and then one single crochet and increase increase and one single crochet and increase and then one single crochet and increase next is going to be two single crochet one two and one single crochet and oops and increase and increase two into the same stitch one single crochet and increase and slip stitch to close the round I think this should be enough for the belly let's see yeah this is enough for the belly leave some length of yarn for sewing and fasten off and sew this piece into the place at the front of the body So try to sewing it one stitch at a time so we end up with a neat a neat look of the belly. Sometimes if you skip the stitch and you can see it. You know it's not as neat as you go slowly slowly one stitch at a time and secure it inside and run run the yarn to any place that look like is gonna have a hole and close it. And we're nearly finished. It looks so cute right now. This is real Akuma. And oops, the one pin left. Don't forget the tail. The last pin is the tail. And we start with six single crochet into a circle. Yes, magic ring is okay. As I just say every time. <laughs> so one, two and three single crochet four five and six then slip stitch slip stitch and the tail one single crochet and increase yeah one single crochet and then two single crochet into the same stitch and one single crochet and two single crochet into the same stitch then one and increase repeat it for three times and slip stitch And one change and then one single crochet into each stitch in total of nine times so this round we have nine stitch I didn't count it so we just do one single crochet into each stitch until we get to the end of this round and yep I think this is the end and slip stitch and yep we finished the tail leave some length fast enough and then sewing it to the body And finish our Lila Kuma is done. Thank you so much for watching. 
like and subscribe for more videos and comment below if you see any errors or any mistake or anything you want me to improve for the tutorials and if you if you use this pattern to crochet please show me the finish dolls i would love to see it and the written pattern is in description box see you again in the next videos bye